Got a camera? Where is it? Behind the camera as well, and together we are top jaw. We're exploring London and finding out what people are up to and how they've responded to lockdown. Revisiting some of our old favourites and generally just packing in as much as we possibly can into one day in true top jaw style. Also, new kit alert. Yeah, we're using the new Zion Crane 2S for the very first time, so looking forward to getting to grips with that. We've got Sega with us. Oi, Sega! God, should we let Sega have this pine and get on with it? Yeah, let's Probably. crack on with today. We're in Will's neck of the woods. Will absolutely raves about Volcano. Literally mentions it at least once a week. During lockdown, it started with a hatch in the wall, serving coffees out on a tray. Now, a little bit more opened up, still not their full operation, but Will and I want to kick this day off with a coffee made from beans roasted on site. It is an honor to drink coffee as good as that. Right, well, next up, Larry's for some breakfast. We're in Peckham for breakfast at Larry's. Larry's is stuck by... Sega in the window. We're in Peckham for breakfast at Larry's. The guys behind this started Salon and Levan, which is right next door. And if you haven't heard of those, you really need to check them out. They're two of our favourite restaurants, aren't they? The food here is very New York Deli throwback. There's no particular region of cuisine, just a melting pot of all sorts of things. So you've got Italian stuff on the menu, but in French, lovely and sweet, nice bit of fennel coming through. Given these guys' track record, it's definitely worth checking this place out for their evening meals. But for breakfast or brunch, it's a fantastic alternative to the classic Eggs Benedict. Great guys doing great food. Next up, one of the premier bakeries in London town, St. John's. We're now in Bermondsey, just south of London Bridge, on this little road here called Druid Street. Lots of business in the arches, but St. John's is one of the only ones that actually sells product out the door. Incredible bakery, founded by the famous chef Fergus Henderson, big philosopher on nose to tell cooking. They're huge on their meats, their baked goods, and their wines. But we're here for some sweet little pastries. A vanilla donut and an almond croissant, please. Three pastries for the lads. For the lads. For the lads. If you're in this area, or even if you're not, great little mid-afternoon donut from St. John's should definitely be on your list. It's time for a beer yet? Got a camera? Where is it? Shit. Take a photo, take a photo. Oh, you got a camera. Fuck it now. So we've travelled up a little bit to the heart of Shoreditch. Now we can't travel this summer, so we're going to go to Portugal by way of Casa de Frango. Casa de Frango, set up by two guys. So the first one launched just south of the river near London Bridge, and then this one launched earlier this year. So kind of three months before lockdown, they got straight on the deliveries. Like two days after lockdown, bang, on the delivery hype, sending out Portuguese grub to the masses. Also, banging out those free NHS meals straight out the gate. Nice crispy sort of char grill skin on it. Peel your flavors, I'm all about that. Boy, did, didn't we? Oh no. Oh no, the worst. Whoa, what's it got there, mate? Three pails for the males. Okay, so we left Casa de Frango on our way to Cool Jobs Yard, but we thought, you know what? Sun's out. It's probably time for a little pail. This pub, Old King's Head, in the heart of Shoreditch, has been here since 1792. And it was first called King's Head in 1811. So my question is, at what point did it become old? Like, when? He's chilling. He's done. We're here at Cold Drops Yard. This is in King's Cross in sort of north central London. It is a Victorian industrial conversion at its finest. Will is sunny. I quite want a beer on a terrace. And maybe some Spanish tapas. You feeling me? Hell yeah. We are in Parian, 
This is the sister restaurant to Barafina, which we featured in our 40 Hours in London film. We love it. Spanish tapas done beautifully. This smells divine. This here is a banderilla. Never heard of it before, but it's a quail's egg wrapped in anchovy. This is their heritage tomato salad with cooked tuna on top. This is the escalavida. Escalavida, escalavida, roasted peppers, escalavida. This is escalavida, roasted veg with crisp breads and aioli. Doesn't sound that much, but it absolutely bangs in your mouth. And the all famous ham croquettes. You cannot come to Barafina or Parillon and not have ham croquettes. Oh, look at that. This veg has been obviously smoked on their grill. So you get that sort of smoky, almost like baba ganoush flavor with a creamy aioli. That is awesome. That was the wonderful Parian. Good all year round, but especially good when the sun's got his hat on like today. They've been busier and had more sales through lockdown than when they were a restaurant earlier. Might be because they've been open 10 months, might also be because it's summer now. However, cheers, mate. Cheers, man. He was just, he just wanted to do it, didn't he? Right, there are, there are sandwiches. We all eat them, we all know them. But then there are sandwiches. Sandwiches that make you stop and think about what a sandwich can really be. <laughs> Sons and daughters doing very familiar sounding sandwiches, right? However, these are in a league of their own. They're taking sandwiches to the next level. Egg mayo sandwich, truffle crisps, miso mayo cress, chicken sandwich, roasted chicken, soy cured parmesan, gem lettuce, pickled cucumber, a little toasted white bloomer. Jesus. We got strawberry mojito, Yuzo Collins, ladies and gents. Oh, yeah. Yeah? You can taste that soy cube bomb down. I'm telling you. House of Cans. Usually a bar and off license, but obviously during these lockdown times, it is just an off license. One of the most beautiful array of canned beverages you will ever see, especially in London. So, this one is Deo Brewing Company from Cheltenham. This parallel is tipped to be one of the best parallels available right here, right now. And then this one, a brewery in Salford called Pomona Island. I've never tried this before, but great looking can, right? For the road. Up next, we're heading to Soho to get a little bit wavy. Well, can you name me a Sri Lankan restaurant? Yes. Go on. Hoppers. Hoppers. Is that Sri Lankan? Yep. It is, yeah. Damn it. Paradise here in Soho, started by a guy called Dom, Sri Lankan guy who worked in hospitality in London for years. He really wants to bring modern Sri Lankan cooking on a small, intimate scale to the heart of Soho. And this is it. Two and a half years in the making, people. Unfortunately, he launched just before COVID. I came here with my girlfriend as it opened, and it was banging. Recently reopened, we got the first table of the evening, Will. Are you ready for some Sri Lankan fun time? So this is a ginger arak sour. What's arak I hear you saying? I was saying the same thing. It is a white spirit made from coconut plant. You get the ginger through there, mouthful of cinnamon. That is, this is our chicken curry. We've got their turmeric dal here particularly good at their dolls. Devil prawns, mutton rolls, croquettes. Modern Sri Lankan cuisine with high-end British ingredients. Beautiful flavors. I'm gonna go for some of the chicken curry. Chicken curry with crispy chicken skin. 10 pounds for that dish. And there is so much flavor. The food here absolutely slaps. Shoreditch now at Mambo. This place started a month and a half before lockdown as grain bowls, serving the city guys and gals around here for their lunchtime trade. Then lockdown happened. Abby was like, I can't serve the lunches anymore. 
She went back into her Malaysian cooking roots. Abby's really, really adjusted. So no Deliveroo, no Uber Eats, but she has been doing DIY kits and delivering her food on Instagram DMs. People let her know, they hire a van, go do the drop-offs. <laughs> Malaysian comfort food for the masses. Chicken strips, 20 spices on these bad boys. Oh yeah! Four hours slow cooked char siu pork, chicken fat chili sauce, peanuts, a little bit of my friend coriander. Really good. Two ways of getting this grub. One, Mambo at the window, knock on the hatch, or Mambo underscore London on Instagram. DM your order in. Thank you very much, Abby. Yeah, oh, God. <laughs> we need to stop doing this. What's the world you want? Cheeseburger, double cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger, bacon double cheeseburger, blue burger, double blue. Bacon double cheeseburger. For really? the lads. Oh, I think blue. You can smell the goodness. You can smell the good times. You can smell the good times for your mouth. Little Northern Monk, parallels, and a double bleak of blue. A little bit of an impromptu stop. Will. Still good. Still got it. Still good, man. Even though I'm absolutely full to the brim, that still grabs your and shoves it in his Hey! Oh, I got one more. Go. So, Hoxton, Southwark. We've been to the Hoxton, East London loads of times. This is the new one, south of the river, just in new fancy clothes. We're here for Seabird, right at the top, one of the best views in London, and some killer cocktails. Two can do it, tequila, mango, lime, bit fresh, bit spicy, bit chilly in there as well, right Alex? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that is good. It worked that mate. The leopard who never changed his spots, frozen margarita for work. Who doesn't love a nice novelty cocktail vessel? We do have a bit of confession to make, don't we, Will? Yes, mate. We said we didn't want any more food, uh, but then we got in here and we couldn't really help ourselves. We did have some tacos. And a little bit of chicken. And we did have some uh, pecking order fried chicken. This is their lamb taco. That's bloody good. And now we're up here. I mean, honestly, one of the best views of London I've ever seen. And they've sat us right at the corner, feeling very lucky. This is date spot centre, isn't it, Will? We've had an amazing day. We have eaten ourselves silly, but we have enjoyed getting back to some sort of normality. Will and Jess film it again. Woo! Post-lockdown life. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this and you want to see more post-lockdown London, go and check out our other film that we made with Big Lou. It was a ridiculously funny day with the Leaning Tower of Giza. Thank you so much. I love you, Will. We're yes, back, mate. baby. We're back. Subscribe to Top Jaw, please. And thanks. Hey, we're Top Jaw. We make food and travel films around the world. I'm Jesse, and I'm in front of camera. And I'm Will, I'm the filmmaker behind the camera, and today we're using the brand new Zion Crane 2S. Decent bit of kit. Cheers, mate. So this is one of our normal setups for a top draw shoot. We've got the Blackmagic Pocket 4K and the Sigma R 1835 lens. The new Zion has absolutely no issues with the payload. Works amazingly, like straight off the bat, and then you're away. Super tidy feature is that you can have the new Axis lock. So once it's locked, it's nice and safe to walk with. Doesn't bash about. So with the LED display, you can change all your settings when you're actually out on set. I've got a super slow tilt axis to get really cinematic shots. First day out with the Crane 2S, and it's been absolutely banging. Can't wait to use it on more Topjaw sets. Thanks for watching. Head to topjaw.co.uk for more of our films.